What's Cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi Yes, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle People. Today, I've got a really fire, quick edit for you. It's a bit of a tutorial, a bit of a voiceover, but we're gonna be showing you how to do five killer boxer step moves with your skipping ropes, of course, all right? So remember, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, check our ropes down below, hit the links. Uh, we've got you covered, man. And if you use Summer Rush right now, you get 10% off. Today's video, I'm using the Legacy Rope. Five killer moves, guys, coming up with some really nice music and a really cool voiceover for myself in three, two, one. Check this out. All right, family, welcome to the commentary. So we're kicking off with the basic boxer step. Now, if you're getting into skipping right now, you're a beginner, or if you're new into boxing, this is a must learn move. Now, what you're gonna take away from this kind of clip anyway, in slow motions when you see it, is how I stay on the balls of my feet as always, keep the heels off the floor, and you just wanna make sure you get this weight shift sorted out, right? So I'm shifting my weight left and right, so it doesn't become like a basic bounce, but always staying on the balls of our feet, which is really key, and it's gonna give you that kind of bouncy, lightweight look which is what all boxers have when they get into this kind of boxer step rhythm. So get this one down, check the slow motions, and I'm sure you're gonna nail it. Right, the next move we have is toe kickouts, peeps. And this is a really cool move. And I really think that it's kind of underutilized as it were, but again, you wanna stay on the balls of your feet, keep the heels off the floor. And what you're trying to do really is when you're shifting your weight left and right, each skip, right, we're gonna basically kick the foot out or kick the toe out we're going to get the toes facing as high as possible to give it that really nice aesthetic kind of look we're just going to touch the heel on the floor in front of us and when you touch this heel now it's a very light touch okay so it's going to give us that yeah give us that lightweight look that bouncy look and you're always just trying to have this feeling that you're just really just touching the floor with your feet that's going to make it look really sharp All right, peeps, next one we have is the Mayweather step. Now, I really love this move. As you already know, man, I'm a very big Mayweather fan when it comes to skipping and watching him do this, it just looks so effortless. What you're gonna basically do is just do the basic boxer step on every four count. You're gonna kick your left foot to the side and then the right foot to the side. So it's kind of like a lateral movement. And just with the previous move with the toe kickouts, instead of the toe facing to the ceiling or to the sky, you're gonna just kind of touch it down. So touch the balls of the feet down on the floor, staying really light really bouncy as I said you're just trying to feel that kind of rhythm in the rope and it's going to look really nice and natural and slick right next up we have the rush side step now this is a move that to be honest with you I've never seen any other boxers or anyone else do on the internet so when I first came up with it we just have to give it the rush step name okay so <laughs> this is a kind of modification of the Mayweather step you just saw but we're literally just going side to side lateral movement one step in the middle and then one step back out. So as you can see, the left foot comes in into the middle, right foot goes to the side and so on. So you're just feeling your sort of hips move side to side. Yeah, it's a little bit of a kind of dancey salsa kind of move going on, but I absolutely love this one as always. It's very, very clean. All right, peeps, man, boxer stance step. Now this is a classic. I love this move to bits, as I do with the other ones as well, to be honest with you. But with this one, you kind of want to focus on your chest, your chest and your hips really. You want them to start facing on a clock face, if you imagine, kind of like 11 p.m. And then what you're gonna do is just switch your feet around, get them sorted with the boxer step in the middle and then switch to now face around about 1 p.m., okay? So we're just kind of focusing on that boxer look or the boxer stance as if you're in the ring fighting, for example, Southpaw, Orthodox, or whatever you wanna call it. And this move, again, just teaches you a lot of coordination, a lot of balance and, and control, really, with your rope. And once you get it down, once you get it nailed, it's gonna look so sharp and you're gonna look like you're just flying, man. Slick, as always. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, more voiceovers coming. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of style of video, this format, I'll get more done for you. Basically, just pick up your rope, give it a go, make sure you look slick in the gym and make sure you're turning heads. And uh, yeah, man, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, give your boy a bit of support. And I'll see you in the next video as always. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now